Welcome back to another day in the survival world. Hope you're doing well today. So last time we built all of these uh, structures here. And uh, that didn't go so well. <laughs> in the last episode, we uh, built all these structures up. And I uh, mentioned doing some terrain. So that's actually what we're going to work on today. Because I want this area looking nicer as a whole. As you probably saw in the little intro, I've got a bunch of resources because... You need a lot of resources when it comes to terraforming. So we're going to start off with just grabbing our granite here, because that is going to be our base block. And we're also going to just trim this section off here because it's kind of in the way. Hmm, I was just looking at this. I think I want to do a little bit more of the dirt first before I get too carried away so I can kind of get a bit more of this terrain working how I want it to be. So I think we need to expand this out some so it's not looking too weird because yeah, I do want to kind of have a bit of a curve to how this section is and I think that will probably do it get our dirt back in here for now so when it comes to doing like a terrain thing you could do I guess two things you could start at the top or the bottom but I think starting at the bottom works but having at least a marker point or somewhere to meet up at the top is good or in this instance you could do something like this where you just build it up and then you make your terrain kind of meet where you want it to be so with this I think I'm going to use the uh, the line I have as my guideline because I want that to be the same uh, regardless of how I end up doing the terrain here so I think what I'll do is actually start from here and I'll build myself downwards and I want to definitely come out in some places and go in in some places just to give the train a bit more depth, so kind of how I did here. And what I'm doing is I'm starting with the granite specifically as like my base block like I do with my structures. This is kind of my, my framework. So it's really good to have something to at least get the shape and using one of your base colors is also going to be good to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to turn out like. Eh, that's looking pretty good so far and having that little gap there adds some variety to how it's going to be and we can even bring this out a bit more and we can always come back in and fill in spaces like that as well. So I'm just going to keep going, placing out a bunch of blocks, get this entire area done here and as well over there because from the last uh, two episodes I guess that it would be, yes, the tower episode, the one back there hiding in the corner. <laughs> I didn't do the train there either, so we'll get that done. In fact, you can see a little bit of it hanging right there above my head. So we'll get all the way around the edge of the current base so that we have kind of our first platform.
Now, if you've been catching any of my streams, you'll be aware of where this terrain was inspired from. I did mention it before in a previous video, but uh, I'm recreating the game called Secret of Mana. And the cliffside is somewhat of this kind of texture, but more of the iron. And something I did in there is I made like kind of like bits of the terrain stick out a bit. So that's what I was thinking about doing here. So for example, if I were to like take this bits of moss off here, and then I can kind of make a bit of a rock that kind of comes up and sticks out a bit. Maybe something like this. So that it like adds something a little more to it. This is not quite properly what I want. I do need to fiddle with it a little bit more. But that's kind of the general concept is having bits of the terrain kind of coming up and off. So that it gets rid of that like flatness. But if I do something like this maybe like that little tiny boulder I guess on the cliff side if we head down here I can show you from afar that like oh that doesn't quite <laughs> doesn't quite work right there because of how I did the terrain but the idea is to have it being a bit that sticks out more it's like let's pull that out just a bit more so we'll go like this and maybe even something like that. That way we get more of a thing off kind of rock fill and we can bring our moss just a little bit further up. Yeah, let me get back. And we have this rock that kind of just comes up. In fact, maybe we even want to do a bit more of a point to the rock so that it's like stands out a bit more. Yeah, something to that effect, and we can kind of round it too, maybe put a couple blocks there. So I think this side is looking okay. Yeah, maybe we can like, drop this bit off or something and add moss into it. Yeah, but that, that kind of gives you the general idea of what I'm wanting to do. So I'm going to do a couple of those throughout the area to kind of just break up that completely flat edge we have all along this terrain here. So I went ahead and just kind of got this area done here because I wanted it to look more complete. I might need to put a little bit more of the gravel kind of spread out, but for the most part this feels like there's coarser where my character would be traveling, like a natural path. Like I want to go into this building, I walk across to here. If I want to go straight across to here, you know, I walk through here. There might be like a tiny bit in the middle, like maybe here-ish, but... I don't know if I can mix in gravel here much to make it look good. I could try like a few little patches, but then if it's like in the direct path, it feels a little weird to me. But I guess I could also use the gravel to, you know, guide the direction that the player goes. 
But when I did that at first, it felt, it felt a little weird, but let's try just sprinkling in a few bits more. Kind of just randomly here and there, like there's files of it that's kind of built up. Because the idea is this is kind of like the dust that's coming up from the mine, from the rocks. But do maybe, maybe just like that, and maybe one more right here. Cause there's like a, lots of dirt and stuff that you'd find when you're doing like mining and things, so... I kinda think that works, and then this is kinda like the lighter dust has kinda been pushed off to the side. Yeah, I think I'll go with that, just that tiny bit, so it's not completely nothing but brown. But as you can see, I, um, ran out of granite, and I said I was gonna work on more of these, like, rock outcroppings, so I'm gonna have to go mining a little bit so that I have enough to continue doing that, so... Off I go! To the mines! Over to the dripstone cave! Everyone's been fishing, huh? Not anymore, you ain't. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 don't help, ow, oh, nope, nope. Sword. Child of the sword, not good. Nope, you can't have that, it's bad. Very dangerous. All the granite is now in, and we got these extra little parts that stick up that really help break up that uh, flat line. And now it's time to just add in a bit more texture, so that it looks more like this, which is much more like blended and looks kind of like realistic, I guess, in a sense. Seems to be the word I like to go back to. Realistic. If it feels good in my brain, it's realistic. Sure, we'll go with that. Thank you. 
believe I have finished up the terrain. We added a bunch of flowers, so a couple of the uh, birch saplings, some of the dripstone, quite a dripstone so that it could be adding just a little bit more shape. And I'm putting all these birch saplings specifically up against walls and things like that and in corners so that they should not grow and hopefully ruin the terrain. But uh, I think this is looking really cool. It's like overgrown and it's slightly like uh, ancient times kind of vibe to it, which will definitely uh, wrap into something that I want to put here in the future. I think it will match them pretty well. In fact, I think I have two build concepts I want to do in this section. So we'll see about doing that in a future video. Let's see what the view looks like from up here. If we can... Oh, hi, Enderman on a tree. <laughs> can we really see much from up here? Uh, somewhat. You can kind of see it feels like this is more connected now, not as separated. I do eventually want to probably convert the entire area to moss. I'll get rid of all the grass. But I think this is looking pretty cool so far, and it like really ties in the entire builds so far that I've done in the area. This area will look much better once I kind of give it the same treatment. Now that we've got like this terrain done, I'm thinking I'd like to get another tree in, and I haven't quite decided exactly. I know I've previously mentioned putting one here, but if I do, it's going to be down at the slower layer. And I don't really know what I want to do with this section quite yet. I think the creepers are going to end up somewhere over here in some sort of area there. And then I could probably put a tree here and then take my path straight through right there. Because I, I tend to want to walk straight through here. So I think I'm going to make that a straight path. And then maybe have a turn off up here somewhere. So maybe I can put a tree there. And then getting this well done would be a good idea. I would have to convert this whole area. Mm, and I got to move all my dogs. I guess I could move some dogs over into the kind of like the little mining city section. And I do need to kind of fix that area up some too as well.
So I went ahead and uh, finished up the terraforming for this back part so the entirety of the current base is nice and uh, I guess surrounded by the uh, terraforming and I went ahead and put another one of these ancient willows in there. This looks really cool. I love the feeling of being underneath these trees. There's such an, just a really cool aesthetic to them. And obviously this area has got a lot more work to be done here, but I just kind of terraformed a bit of this part so we have that cliff line. And now we have basically, yeah, we got an entire like oval shape of ter terraforming all the way around the uh, starter base, which is pretty fantastic. Probably do need to work on a little bit of lighting throughout the area to make sure it stays safe. But yeah, this is turning out really cool. I love how much it's like made this space its own little thing. Like it feels good. Like if you come down here, obviously like it feels empty and doesn't make sense. But as you come back here and just take a look at everything, this has come together really, really well. There's one last thing I want to do before I end off the episode. I mentioned a well earlier. So let's go up here and fiddle around with the design. And I was wanting to do something that was more or less kind of a octagon shape. So I might even make this like a three wide like this. Maybe we do something to this effect. I might have to clear back a little bit of the dirt so I can get the shape I'm going for here. And we might even make this be a 3x3 uh, three three water. Too many things in my inventory. Doot, doot. And then I want to use this chiseled stone on all of these corners. And something we can do is we can just take this out. I should be able to have my water bucket here and just fix that. And we can dig that down where we need it. I think I'll just kind of leave that how it is. And I've kind of trapped myself. Eee, let me out. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm totally winging this. I have no idea how I actually want this to turn out, so we're just experimenting here. I need more fences. That feels like a decent height, and I think I'm actually going to pull my water. Up a whole other layer. So that should be easy to access. I can just walk up here and grab my water when I need it. Sweet, okay, and now we're going to start doing stuff with the uh, stairs here. And the idea is to kind of slope it up a little at a time. Though I might end up doing more like a dome kind of shape. So I could do something like this. And then here, I think. <laughs> Come on. So it's going to have an interesting rounded shape. And there. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm figuring it out here. And then, and then, and then we do that one. And then we do this one. And then we do that one. And then do, and do. Okay. That gives us our first like layer. It's kind of cool. And I wanted to try implementing some hanging signs in here as well. Could try something like this, maybe? Where's my axe? Give me my axe. Ugh, don't type things. Something like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't want... I found dirt. Need to get rid of that dirt. But I think I can just do this with the hanging signs to add a... Kind of a cool little whatever this thing is, but it looks cool. I like it. <laughs> Again. Then up here at the top, I'm just going to drop in these mosaic slabs that I had, and then, sure, full block. Like that. And we can go inside and chop that out. Ta-da! Quite a simple well. Just need to put in... Oh yeah, I could put a... Uh, Lantern there, and then I put in the last few hanging signs. Oh, look at that! I was just uh, making my way up here, and I saw that. I just I actually really like that. It looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the last finishing touches. 
Now, something I'm doing here is I'm actually holding shift to get the uh, chains to match up in the same spot on these. Because if you just place it normally, it does the two chains. Oh, I need to put the lantern in one there. Oh, perfect. Super bright. And we'll put these here to complete the dome. Ta-da! There's a little well. <laughs> I love it. With the well complete, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching how I go about uh, building terrain and my thought process behind it. In the next episode, what I'd like to do is head down into the mines and start actually digging it out some more so we actually have access to the diamonds and such. And maybe if we get to it, we can come back here and uh, work on some of the interiors for here and get our smelter moved, get our, you know, our furnace set up on our furnace. Smelter thingy, what is this word I'm looking for? Smith. Smithing area, yes, because I want to put like my smithing table in there and for like armor decoration and whatnot. That's where all our trims will be stored. And then in here we can get our enchantment table and possibly something else down below. We'll have to wait until the next episode. Whoa, the next episode? Next episode. <laughs> to see how far we get along in the possibilities of that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.